Hello friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome to a box opening today. I'm just not sure what I want to open. I feel like I, I could open up the theme decks and have a battle between them, but this Elite Trainer box is really calling to me. So I think what we want to open up is the Elite Trainer box. We'll open up these either uh, next week or I think sometime uh, for that uh, trainer theme deck battle. Uh, but for now, I feel like I just I want to open up more packs and see what we get. So uh, first thing I'm actually going to do is clear out the background here a little bit. Uh, I had this stuff up for the pack of days, but I think for now um, I want to clear it out so that uh, so that we can get more good pulls put up here. We'll just put it up here on top of the tin. Hopefully it stays. Hopefully it stays, and we'll move uh, Totoro over here a little bit as well. There we go. Just block that big on just a little bit. Uh, but let's go ahead, bust into this uh, Elite Trainer box for Crimson Invasion. It has the Still Valley on the front. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people's opened these yet, actually. Maybe a couple weeks ago they were. There we go. Got the plastic off. We'll read the back. Give me one second here. Okay. Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer Box. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the lettering. Crimson Chaos across Alola. The mysterious Ultra Beasts have arrived. Invading the Alola region as Crimson Tinged Pokemon GX, Nihilago GX, Buzzhole GX, Cartana GX, and the Ravenous Guzzlord GX. Can Savali GX and other allies of Alola defend the island? Or will the Ultra Beasts take control? Find out when you battle for a prize with the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion Expansion. Now these things come with eight packs, sleeves, dividers, energies, a player's guide, GX counters, poison, burn counters, dice, a box for uh, storage, and let me see if I can actually read it off what it actually says. It says eight TCG Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion booster packs, 65 sleeves featuring Sil Valley, 45 TCG energy cards, a player's guide for the Crimson Invasion expansion, six damage counter dies, one competitive legal coin flip die, two acrylic condition markers, and one acrylic GX marker, uh, collector's collection, yeah, collector's box to hold everything with the four dividers to keep it organized, and a code card for the Pokemon TCG online. The online code card ends up giving you some Sil Valley sleeves, I believe, um, and a, uh, I think that's it actually, some Sil Valley sleeves. But let's go ahead, uh, I don't like to open up these too much, but I think I will. So you guys can see what's inside of this. What's inside of this is, of course, the pack arts for the, the I think it's four pack arts. The only one that was different was the Sun and Moon base. So it shows you, um, I don't know if there's a way I can do this without. I'll try it this way. We have the Cortana GX pack art. Guzzlord GX Pack Art, Buzz Wool GX Pack Art, and the Sil Valley GX Pack Art. Um, can I actually like tuck this behind here so that it's like the the new version? Probably not. Okay, it's back there temporarily. Of course, we have our player's guide. Let me just move some cardboard and such here. Um, problem is my light source is on this side, so everything's going to shadow if I put that on that side. Oh, this is cool. This is new. PokemonCenter.com ETB. Tells you some pretty cool stuff you can get from PokemonCenter.com. I always, uh, say these guys are great because they, uh, they gave me, like, these... I got that mat right there. They have really cool card sleeves, usually. That's an awesome mug. Um, this, this, uh, version here is how, is my Alola friends mat, actually. And check us out. What's new? That's pretty cool. I actually like that they gave the gave me that. Did I get it from them though? I don't remember if I if I actually bought this from them. I think I might have. I think I might have. But let's go ahead and see what's in this player's guide first. An index. An index of what's in the player's guide. We have uh the welcome, the introduction, the GX stand strong, six scarlet combos. Because it's red, I guess. Because it's crimson scarlet, yeah. Top trainer cards. 
and the whole card list. So, you know, Ultra Beast, they have Nihilego, a Buzzwole, uh, Cartana, Guzzlord, tells you a little bit about them. Some of the old guys coming back, Gyarados, a Lolan Golem, and then a Lolan Executor. I'm actually hoping to get one of those. And Sil Valley GX is the savior, guys. So here's some awesome Scarlet Combos. You discard your Shielment to get your S Cavalier evolved right away. It's a quick way to move. You have your uh, quick way to move from a, a basic to the stage one S Cavalier. Any combination of the Reggies. The Reggies all help each other in some way, shape, or form. But uh, definitely uh, bench hitters are Regice and Reggie Rock, while Reggie Steel and Reggie Gigas are the big hitters. You have Nihilego Alolan Muck, it's telling you about. Nihilego also works well with a. Um, excuse me. With uh, Dark Ride GX. Altaria Victini. I don't think anyone saw this one coming. Altaria's Drake Media attack has the potential to be quite powerful, but a coin flip makes it pretty risky. You can improve the odds by Victini's Victory Star ability, and then go ahead and search for any Dragon type Pokemon and put it onto your bench. This means even evolution Pokemon such as Alolan, Executor, and Komo'o can go directly onto your bench, skipping all those earlier stages. Well, how many does it do, though? Um, I think it's just one. Sorry, it won't it won't zoom in that close, guys. But it's a slip of coin. If I had search your deck for a dragon Pokemon and put it onto your bench, shuffle your deck. So it's just one, but that's pretty cool. You can bring dragon types out like that. That might be the quicker Komo'o GX. <laughs> Countercatcher, Counter Energy, Electrode. Tells you that you can blow up your electrodes and then use your counter catchers and your counter energies as a cheaper uh, Lysander double colorless or double rainbow really, um, which is pretty cool. And then Salazzle, so Viper. Uh, this new Salazzle does severe poisoning, which does four between turns, and you can add to Viper to make that five, six, seven, and even up to eight damage counters per turn on poison. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the top trainers in this, of course, are the catchers, the the counters, counter catcher, counter energy. Devoured Field boosts the attack of uh, by 10 for dark and dragon types. Uh, Gladion can look at your prize cards and grab what you need and then shuffle them back up. Luzamine grabs two a sta uh, stadium and a supporter, uh, either uh, two of one or one of each. Uh, but it's actually pretty fun to use Luzamine. Uh, it works pretty well when, if you want to play like 3-3 three and three of Sycamore in and you just go get them back later in the game. And then the memories so that so Valley can change its typing are big as well. Um, I believe when you have a fighting memory attached to Sil Valley, you can even put strong energy on him, which makes his attack go up. And then it shows the list. Um, as you've seen, I've already gotten the Alolan Golem. I've already gotten... Um, I got the, the Gengars from the pre-release kit, which was pretty nice. I already got uh, none of these guys. I got Fluffy. I got the Fluffy. Uh, I don't remember what regular rares I've gotten. I've just gotten Cortana. And I got the Shiny Sil Valley from the box, so that doesn't count. But for Full Arts, I did get the Gyarados in my first pack, which was pretty awesome. And what we're looking for is this stuff over here on this page. This stuff looks amazing, and I believe this is the most expensive card in the set right there. Luzamine Full Art, um, but I really want to get a Full Art uh, Alolan Executor because it just looks so silly. And then there are the Secret Rares. We got a Secret Rare Water Energy in this set. So, of course, those are the things to go after. We can see, oh, they actually have the page here for the four as well. That's pretty sweet. There is the player's guide. Not that many people go over it, uh, but that is what is in it. Let's go ahead, bust into this box, and see what we get. They, this one's designed just like the Shining Legends. has the little divot there. I guess that's the new design. But let's just pull stuff out, blind you for a moment so that you can't see with that silver... That silver uh, sleeves... So I almost threw extras in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's the eight packs there. We got our our dye are blue this time. That's kind of exciting. I like the color blue. You got your blue Sil Valley sleeves, which are pretty sweet as well. Um, 
divider say Crimson Invasion on one side and have Still Valley GX on the other side. And I think we'll leave the rest of this in here and set it aside. All we have left in here is damage counters, energies, and whatnot. So we'll take out the cardboard though. But set that aside for now. Don't need the cardboard. This is pretty cool. But we have plenty of stuff in the background already. So we'll just set the sleeves here and uh Oh, maybe not. The sleeves will take everything out. There we go. They're held up there. So we got our eight packs here. Let's see what we have. We have Cortana, Guzzlord, Buzzhole, Sil Valley. Cortana, Guzzlord, Buzzhole, Sil Valley. So I guess we're just going to open them up in order here. We got two of each art. Let's start with the Cortana, the Blade GX, the little origami. Don't want to get cut by you. And, uh, yeah, trash in the can, in the trash of the cans. One, two, three, energy. It is a grass. It is actually fighting. I am wrong already. Let's see what we get. Corfish. Wow, Corfish just like, meh. A Mencino. That tickle lock, guys, it's real. Tickle lock for real. Magikarp with the submerge. Execute. A Cubone. There's be a sea of nothingness. There's just nothing there. Hakamo, a reverse Magikarp for those Gyarados decks, and a B Drill regular rare. That's a notable reverse though, because people love Gyarados, and this new Magikarp is actually very good in the uh, the old Ancient Origins Gyarados list. So let's go ahead and get into Guzzlord here. You know, trash in the trash can. And let's see what Guzzlord brought us today. One, two, three, energy. It is metal. Nope. I'm wrong again. It is fire. Let's see. We gotta start with a Cacnea. With that sucker punch. Sucker punching ya. Bunnelby. A Shellos. A Weedle. Execute with hypnosis and ram that call for family. You know, these guys really need to talk to each other. Families just need to talk. Emolga, an Alolan Graveler. That reverse is a rare Kamo'o. That war cry, changing scales. And our rare is a Gyarados GX. So now we got two of those puppies. Look at this. So far, it's been turning up Gyarados. Uh, we'll put this in here like this. Probably going to go in a binder. But that's pretty cool. Magikarp Gyarados. Magikarp Gyarados. And actually, I will just pair up the Magikarp with it. Because, obviously, they're meant to be together. They're right there next to each other. They're meant, right? And uh, we will, we'll, we'll go ahead and put a sleeve on the Komo'o as well. We'll just put it to the side here. So, we're two packs in already, and we got a hit with a Gyarados GX. Um, I don't know if I've been over this already. I thought I have, but, uh, you know, Gyarados GX has that 240 HP. Attack Waterfall the, is a water and double colorless. Uh, 70 damage, kind of low. Uh, Draconic Disaster finally gets a dragon attack. Does 100 damage, plus 100 more damage if you uh, if you have a stadium in play and you discard it. Or if there's any stadium in play, this attack does 100 more damage, then discard that stadium. So you have to discard the stadium, and you do 200 damage. Uh, Dreadstorm GX, discard an energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. So if they have energies all over the board, Gyarados can come in, Dreadstorm, and knock them down a peg. Put them back as far as you can. But let's go ahead and go into Buzzhole GX pack here and see what it pops out. Go ahead and put Buzzhole over in the trash. One, two, three, energy. Energy is going to be water. It is not. It was a lightning energy. <clears throat> and it slid right off the mat onto the ground. Uh, but let's see what we got in this. We're going to start with a weird Pikachu. Pika draw. Pika, Pika, Pika draw. But most people are going to use the uh, promo ones over that because they have more HP. Skiddo. Starly with that bug search, Solandit, Sinjinya. You gotta put out that fire. 
a uh, Shelmet with Absorb. You can discard that to get your Escavalier. Larion. Amazing plea. You can choose two cards from your discard pile, then ask your opponent, Hey, may I have those two cards? And if yes, you can put those cards in your hand. If no, these, this attack does 80 damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. A Gladion. A Reverse Foil Rare, Aggron. Very, very nice. And our rare is another Hollow Reggie Gigas, guys. We got another Reggie. And we got an Aggron. And we got a Kamo- Oh, wow. Wow, we're getting like Hollow- We're getting Hollow Rares back to back to back. There we go. So another one of those. A Reggie Gigas to sit by the Gyarados. This is looking a lot like my pre-release, guys. We're just- the, the cards that are coming are the exact same cards. But let's go ahead and get into our fourth pack here. So Valley GX. And let's see if we're going to have a little bit better luck than we did in our pre-release. One, two, three. Energy. And the energy is fighting. It started with an F. It's a fairy energy. But let's go ahead and see what we get. We're going to start with that Salandit. Some little bit of singe in you. Singe in your arm. Just a little bit. Because it likes you. A Shelmet. You can discard that. And get your S Cavaliers. Jengmo. Oh. Uh, Staryu. Houndour. Staravia. Another Gladian. Which I think I was putting over there. There we go. Dashing Pouch. If you discard your energy to retreat. You can put that energy back into your hand. Instead of your discard pile. Numo is the reverse, and our rare is an Octillery with Ink Spit and Special Artillery. Uh, special Artillery is not too great. You can discard a Special Energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 80 more damage. But why would you want to discard a Special Energy? Those are hard to get back. If the defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, your, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails, this attack does nothing. Or that attack does nothing. So, you can spit Ink in their eye, and... Uh, Special artillery, you can throw special energies at them, but uh, not sure how good either one of that is. Let's go ahead, we'll bust into another Cortana pack here. We got four more packs to go, and uh, how about this? I'll give you guys this code here for this Cortana pack. Go ahead, redeem that. Let me know what you get down there in the comment section below, um, and be sure to add me on um, PTCGO. Under uh, Pup Wrangler Leo 3. 1, 2, 3. Energy is going to be grass. Nope, fire. The second fire energy. Can't even get different energy types. So we got Execute with Hypnosis and Ram. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Look at that wormhole. A Chimeco with that Bell of Silence. You want to make it where your opponent can't play a Pokemon with an ability. Spoink. A Swablu. Devoured Field for those dragon types. The Pain Amplifier, that Haunter. Haunter. A Hakomo. Reverse Foil Luzamine. Very, very nice. And our rare is that Cacturn. <laughs> Cacturn. A lot of you were saying that's the troll of the set. Um, Luzamine is a notable pull. We'll put that up here. Um, so we can see other pretty pools. Um, but Spike, Rend, uh, does, if your opponent's Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this is attack does 60 more damage. It's it's meant to work in the pre-release decks with Gengar, I believe. So that's why uh, it was one of those in the Evolution packs. Ah, speaking of Gengar, there's that Ghastly. <clears throat> but we will go ahead and uh, see what we get in this pack here. We are going to guess a Psychic Energy long before we even reveal it. I believe it's a Psychic Energy. Ah, oh, I was wrong again. It's like, what? 0 oh, for 6. We're starting this off with those ominous eyes. Those eyes. All right. <laughs> Ghastly, that little ball of gas. Um, core fish. We got a an Aaron. Can we, like, there we go. Color balance with him. Mankey with the three-step strike. The Yankee Mankeys, right? Uh, Swine Up, a Fighting Memory, Force of Valley, a Lolan Graveler, Annie Mulga with the Energy Cat Volt Switch, Reverse is Swablu for those Altaria decks, and our rare is a Rangaroo, that Fixer of the Forest. Bringing back you tool cards. It's very helpful with Gore Guys, it's very helpful with like Bursting Balloons, stuff like that. Rangaroo might have a niche somewhere, but we're just not sure where yet. 
Go ahead and put Spot Blue there. We got two more packs here. A Buzzhole GX pack right now. Let's see if Buzzhole GX is in this pack, right? But we are going to start off with a Magikarp, of course. So let's... Ugh, sorry for the blurriness. One, two, three. Energy is water. It is actually metal. So we're going to start with that Magikarp with the Submerge Magikarp. Stuffo. I'm actually going to put him aside because he's useful. Stuffle. And Execute. Jigglypuff again. Chimeco again. Moo Moo Malt. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, when you ever t whenever you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90 damage from that Pokemon. Super useful card right there. Kakuna Matata. Ma Multiply. Selgor. You can really... That's a really speedy attack. 70 damage for 2 energy. 70 damage for 2 energy. Reverse Foil is that call for family, Mawile, and our rare. Is that Altaria? I thought it was a hollow, but it's not. Draco Melody, regular, rare, Altaria. I actually like that one. Uh, yeah, we'll just put that there. And then last pack, guys. Last pack right here. I see Valley Pack. Um, we're going to see what we get in this last pack. If there's any magic left in this box... And if you guys got that code, awesome. Good for you. But let's see. Last pack. Magic. One, two, three. Energy. It is a... What have we not seen yet? What have we not seen yet? Water energy. Let's guess it's a water energy. Um, well, I just complicated this. I just complicated this. There we go. Let's do it that way. And see what the energy is. It is water. Nope, it's fighting. We're way off. There's the water type we were probably seeing. Swine up. Look at him with his little scarf. It's so adorable. We got Numo with the continuous headbutt. Mencina. A Mistrevious with the confused ray. A Lolan Judo hiding in the whole sea of nothingness. There's nothing there. Gastrodon with the earthquake and eerie fluid. Azuelos. Reverse foil is that triple. Strike, that three-step strike, one, two, strike, one, two, strike, Mankey, and our rare is a Xerneas holographic with lead and bright horns. Lead is pretty cool, search your deck for a supporter, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck for those turns when you just really need another uh, the supporter for the next turn. Then bright horns, you can't use bright horns next turn, which is fine because there's plenty of other options for a Xerneas. So, very, very cool EBT. Looked a lot like our, um, our pre-release, to be perfectly honest. So, let's go over the notable pulls here. Um, I guess we'll start with the uh, Luzamine Reverse Trainer. Um, nope, we're going to start with the Magikarp. Magikarp Reverse Foil, guys. Amazing. Uh, Luzamine. Put two com two and any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand. Ah, uh, that's why she is the most valuable trainer in this set. Hey, we got the reverse foil rare Agron with revenge cannon. Does 10 more damage for each damage counter on all of your benched Pokemon. So really, if you if you have a way to bust up your bench, you know, with like Potown or uh, like the earthquake attack from uh, Gastrodon, you can really revenge blast and uh, your way to victory possibly. Uh, but this is a big stage two. And then we got Kamo'o uh, with a war cry and changing scales. Changing scales is interesting because during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 more damage from attacks. Which is kind of weird. Never seen that before. But if you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, you can do 90 more damage to them. Um, plus the 30, which is 120. We got Xerneas with lead and bright horns. Uh, Regigigas with that seal of antiquity. The giant stomp. And then we got ourselves another Gyarados GX here, guys. Thank you so much for coming out today. This has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.